What is going on, guys? This is CH from VillagePartMedia.com with our 11th series, no, our 11th video in our series of introduction to HTML and CSS. And we made it. You guys finally made it to the CSS part. And you're probably asking at this point, well, he's been talking about CSS for you know the last 10 videos. What is it? Well, CSS, what is it? What does it stand for? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. And that's exactly what we're adding, style. And we're doing it in cascading order. What does that mean? I'll open up my style sheet that I already made. Don't create this right now. We're going to go ahead and create it in another video. I'm just doing this as an example. So here's what it means. So here's our first line of code, and we have our body background for our body. And down here, we have another body background. Well, what it means is the furthest code down is going to override whatever's above it. So that means this code, this color right here, this is our hex color. This is like some funky orange or something. And this color right here is black. All zeros is black and all Fs is white. So this black, all zeros, is going to override our orange. This is our orange color right here. And yeah, that's what the C stands for in cascading style sheets. And CSS is where things get rad because all we really did with XHTML and HTML is to add text, links, and pictures. That's really all XHTML does is you just add text, links, and pictures, but it's the CSS that makes your web page look pretty. I mean, with our CSS, we can position stuff how we want, we can add cool borders, we can add background pictures, we can add background colors. Here, here's an example of a website with CSS. I just made this, it took me like 30 seconds, so don't judge me. Here is our web page with CSS. I've got a wrapper, you see from here to here, that's centered in the center of the page so we have the equal amount of margin on the left hand side as we do on the right hand side here's some stupid header here's Blastoise dominating on the beach somewhere and then here was our table that we made in the last video so here's just an example of CSS I know this website looks horrible the one we're gonna do is gonna be a million times better than this I promise but I'm gonna take the CSS now so you can see what it's gonna look like with no CSS so get a good picture of this and put it in your head. So I'm going to go back to my index.htm folder and I'm going to mess up the style sheet that we're referencing. I just took it out and we're going to go ahead and reload it. That's what it looks like without the CSS. See, it just punched everything over to the left hand side. Nothing centered anymore. I lost my background color. All it is is just added images and that's all HTML really does is add text links and images and this doesn't even have text it does have text but it doesn't have any links on it so in the next video we're gonna go over the more common CSS rules and we're gonna get on way on our way to building a legitimate website and here's what we're gonna ultimately be kinda of looking to create with your, your CSS is kinda of like your theme what you're going for here's a website I did for my buddy six months ago and this is ultimately what our website is going to be looking like. So stay with me and we're going to learn some more CSS in the next video.